In a small hospital room, the air is tense with anticipation. A newborn lies still, showing no signs of life, a stark contrast to the flurry of activity surrounding it. A doctor, with years of experience etched on his face, takes charge in a desperate attempt to coax the fragile spark of life within the infant. The room is a canvas of white, punctuated by the vibrant blues and greens of the medical staff scrubs. Monitors beep and hum, a symphony of technology that stands in stark contrast to the silence of the infant. The doctor's hands, steady and sure, move with purpose as he begins the delicate task of revival. He clears the baby's airway, a practiced motion that he has performed countless times, yet each time with the same solemn focus. The room's atmosphere is thick with hope and fear, each person holding their breath, their own hearts beating in unison with the doctor's efforts. With a gentle yet firm touch, the doctor administers a series of back pats, each one a potential catalyst for the baby's first breath. The staff watches intently, their eyes not just on the baby, but on the doctor's face, searching for any sign of success. The doctor then begins to stroke the baby's back, a soothing motion that serves as both a medical procedure and a comforting gesture. It's a silent communication, a message of encouragement from one life to another. Minutes pass, each one feeling longer than the last. The tension rises, but so does the determination. The doctor's experience tells him that the fight is not over, that there is still a chance. His resolve is a beacon of hope in the sterile room. And then a small miracle occurs. A faint whimper breaks the silence, a subtle but certain sign of life. The doctor's efforts, a blend of science and something akin to a prayer, have found their answer. The baby's chest rises and falls, a weak but rhythmical pattern that grows stronger with each passing second. The room erupts in a quiet celebration, a collective sigh of relief that reverberates off the walls. The doctor, a silent guardian of life, allows himself a small smile. It's a smile of triumph, of a battle won against the odds.